Hey everybody, Johnny Arclay here. Welcome back to Baobab's Mausoleum. So in the last episode, we got out of the dungeon. We uh, fireballed those two goons. We rescued the uh, princess here. They call her a princess. I don't think she's actually a princess. But we rescued her. And I think this is going to be a short episode because there is only one chapter left. And I don't think it's that long. So I'm going to go ahead and preface this by saying that the next episode... Uh, Baobab's Mausoleum 2 should be coming out later this month, so I'll probably grab that when it comes out to finish this, or continue the story. I don't know if that's going to be the end of it. And we've already talked to you, so I, I started a little bit back. Alright, you ready? You ready? Alright, let's go. Go to the next chapter. Alright. This is Act 9, I believe the final act. It's this way. I should go by her house ASAP to make sure there's no more dangerous people. Because we'll give them the old fireball. Whoa, look, it's Nimrod's, my granddad's shop. I used to work there before Barnabas bought it. After that, kicked us out of the business and turned our magic wand shop into a real estate agency. Who is that Barnabas, and what did your family do after that? Barnabas the Creep, he's the richest man around. He owns the hotel and all local businesses. There's only 64 people living here, why would you need a fucking hotel? Doesn't make any sense. After it was bought, my granddad Nimrod passed away and I started working at the Clumsy Mongoose. Sorry, we've met before at the bar, haven't we? What's that? Uh, can I go in there? Yes, we can't go into Nimrods. There's a kangaroo. Can I go talk to the kangaroo? There's a chicken here too. Oh wait, can I go down that way? Nope. I tried. Which way is your house? Hey, Watracia, where are you from? Why don't you tell me a little about you? I'm really glad you saved me from those two. I don't know what I would have done without you. Eh, it's all good, Daphne. It's the least I could do. I'm from the city, you know. And I'm just passing through. All I want to do is repair my car and be able to go back. Oh, well. I'd love for you to stay a little longer. That way I could show you more things and uh, we could go together to the lake. It has beautiful views. And also instead of water, it has cantaloupe juice. Okay. Why though? I'm assuming that's her house right there. Seriously though, cantaloupe juice? Why? Oh, that's not her house apparently. I should go by her house ASAP. Look! We are already at my house. It's the one with the red roof. I used to live with my grandpa, but since he left, I live alone with just my giant salamander spleeds. I remember now. You must be so hungry. Your salamander spleeds? I don't want to know what it eats. Can I talk to this doggo? Oh, I really want to go talk to the doggo, though. Yeah. Thank you, Atracio. Well, we're here. Thanks for everything. Um, hopefully we'll see each other again? Eh, uh, yeah. Of course, don't count on it, though. Goodbye, Daphne. Is my eggplant, my little eggplant in love? Can I go talk to the dog though? I should go to the hotel, it's late. Tomorrow I'll figure out how to get out of here. Where's the hotel? Is it this way? Well, Damon, I don't even know where the hotel is. And I wanted to see the doggo. Can I hit that? Damn it! Which way is the hotel? That's a real estate agency down that way, right? There it is! Whoa, look at that thing. 
North Hotel Windigo. There it is, Hotel Windigo. What's that dude? Hey, it's alien, bro. Did I just break into Daphne's house? Did I go upstairs? No. <laughs> oh, you finished the game. Okay, that was it. I knew it was gonna be a short episode. That was gonna be a little longer than that, but it's all good. Okay, so that's the end of episode one. Episode two comes out in I think three weeks. So when that comes out, I'll have to jump on that for sure. I I really dig it. Like it's just so whimsical and strange. I don't know. Throws a bunch of different styles together, which is pretty cool. Uh, the only thing I found really frustrating about this game is probably the part with the uh, walrus pictures, with the code that you have to put in. It'd be much better to keep all the puzzles in the game, especially since this, the website that it wants you to go to is now taken down. So it's kind of lame, but it's still it's got its appeal and it's very weird, which I like. So I can't wait to see what the next chapter holds. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, do what you guys do best, and I will see you guys again in the next one. Bye bye